Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. This is episode 8 of Photoshop Quick Tips. In the next couple episodes, we're going to take a look at a couple of the new features that are in the latest version of Photoshop. That is version 2015.5. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Face Aware Liquify. In the next episode, we're going to look at the new refinement tools that are available for selections. So look forward to that in episode 9. Now I mentioned in this episode we're going to look at Face Aware Liquify. It's a really cool feature and it works really, really well. But I have to warn you, it is destructive. So use good Photoshop technique when you use Liquify because you're actually going to be distorting and moving pixels. And if you're not happy with what you do, it's going to be a problem down the line because it's destructive. So what you could do is you could take the layer you're working on and you could make it a smart object that will make it non-destructive. Or you could just do what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate the layer. And because I'm working on a Mac, I just have to hit Command J that duplicates the layer. If you have a PC, you'd hit Control J. Now, all the liquify adjustments I do will be done to layer one. So we're going to go up to filter and we're going to go down to liquify. Now, you'll notice that cosmetically this looks considerably different. Uh, over on the left, though, are pretty much the same tools you had in previous versions of liquify. But there is a new tool right here called the face tool. And the sh uh, keyboard shortcut for the face tool is the A key on your keyboard. That's A as in Apple. And you'll notice when that tool is on that Photoshop will find the faces in the image and in this case that's what these little parentheses kind of lines on the side mean found her face and not only that it finds her eyes and you can see when I hover over parts of her face these overlays come on with some handles on them and you could see the eye has these handles if I come over the nose the overlay for the nose comes on and we have some handles there if I go down to her lips we have some overlays for her lips and handles, I should say, for her lips and for the corners of her mouth. On her face itself, we have handles to make her face wider, make her chin longer or shorter, make her forehead smaller or bigger, things like that. And you really could just come right in here and start moving these handles around. Now, if you don't want to see the handles, obviously, all you got to do is, is, you know, click on a different tool and the handles go away. But when you're ready to work with the face of an individual you want to of course go to the face tool now again you could come in here and just grab these handles so if we want to move her eyes upwards a little bit like that make them bigger like that make them longer like that now of course I'm making her look garish uh, one thing with the liquify tool there's a rule that we all go by less is more meaning you don't want to go too crazy with the liquify tool uh, just little adjustments but to demonstrate it to you I am really going overboard so with the handles around her nose overlay we could make her nose bigger or littler wider or more narrow we could go outside of her mouth and give her a smile or give her kind of a frown or maybe a Mona Lisa smile something like that we could come in with uh, the handle for her lip we could make her lip thinner or thicker same thing for the lower lip thinner or thicker, make her mouth more narrow or wider, um, whatever. You go up to the handles on her face, make her face more round, more narrow, uh, forehead, stuff like that. One thing I should tell you, a lot of times when you do move these handles around, what you might do is you might expose some blank pixels as I did here. So of course you're going to have to come in when you're done and crop this or use some type of content aware fill to take care of that. So just be aware of that and always look to the edges. You might have gone a little too far and uh, exposed some blank pixels. Now, while I was doing this, you might have noticed over here on the right hand panel that there's a tab, Face Aware Liquify, and within that tab are sub tabs for each of these overlays. So we have an eye. Uh, tab, a nose tab, mouth tab, and a face shape tab. And I'm not going to go through all the sliders. They are pretty self-explanatory there. So we have eye size, eye height, 
I width and if you would prefer to adjust them this way then you could do that just grab a slider instead of grabbing a handle and that might work better for you tilt like that so you could really adjust her eyes uh, her nose with that um, you know her mouth again make her smile um, upper lip lower lip all that and again in the face shape so you could come in and do that with the sliders if you prefer if you prefer when you're done you just click OK and now because we made another layer all those adjustments were done to that layer one so there's the original and there's our adjustments I toned it down a little bit before we brought it back in here now the cool thing about face aware liquify it will work with multiple faces so we have this picture of the family let's send this over there so we're going to duplicate the layer I'm hitting command J again if you have a PC you'd hit control J we'll go to filter liquify and again what Photoshop does it finds all the faces and way it works it goes from left to right and it will number them that way this is face one their son is face two and mom is face three and if you go over on the right hand panel you see you could do the adjustments to each face individually so we could have face one which is going to be dad and we could come in here and we could make his eyes a little bigger you can see okay make his eyes a little bigger um, just do some minor adjustments here maybe maybe make his nose a little shorter and he's got a nice smile I don't think we have to do much with his mouth um, one thing I want to show you though is it does a nice job of really not disturbing pixels around your adjustment but it can affect some of the pixels that are around it and to demonstrate that what I'll do with dad is I'm gonna take his face width and I'm gonna make his face wider and you could see that it's taking juniors head a little bit and kind of moving some of his hair over there all right so let's just bring that to the extreme that way now let's go on to their son's face that's face two that's their son and we're gonna stay with the face shape and let's make his face wider and you'll see that it really moves dad's ear and cheek in quite a bit so although it does a nice job of minimizing the movement of the pixels around those you want to affect it still will do it so be aware of that you might be tired you've been processing all day you just adjusted dad's face now you're going to come in and adjust junior's face and you may not notice that you undid some of those adjustments you did to dad because you adjusted juniors in such a way that they affected dad's face so just be aware of that um, then we could come in and we could do mom's face and you know I, I mean these are models these people are perfect there's really you know not much <laughs> not much they need so um, so we could just I'm just doing it so you could see a difference when we're done now one thing I want to tell you uh, about is that it will find the faces fine as long as they're looking pretty much straight onto the camera it won't work with profiles and maybe some semi profiles or quarter on shots it may see them okay it may not so you might have a problem with those so just be aware of that also it will find the face as long as the face is tilted no more than 30 degrees mom's face obviously is tilted less than 30 degrees if her face was tilted just a little more it probably wouldn't find her face what you would have to do is you would have to before you open it up in liquify you would have to tilt your image to straighten the face on anyone that has a face tilted straighten it so it's straight up and down go into liquify adjust their face as you as you want then go back into uh, you know regular Photoshop and then undo the tilt you did so that's one way around it so be aware of that 30 degrees is the limit and it doesn't work with profiles and you might have a problem with you know three quarter on shot something like that um, so we're done with this one we just click OK and you can see it's on this layer here if I turn that layer off there's the before there's after I just pretty much made everyone's face a little a little rounder and if you're not happy with it just delete oops didn't want to do that just delete the layer and that's how it's non-destructive 
All right, so that's it. That's it for episode eight, very short. The next episode is a little more in-depth. We're going to be talking about these new refinement tools on refine edge tools that are in this new version of Photoshop. And I really like them. They work real, real well. So I'm, I'm really kind of psyched up about the new refinement tools. So look for that in episode nine. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.